This episode of Trips to the Store has been brought to you with the help of viewers like you. Transmissions wouldn't be the show it is today if it wasn't for all of your support. Join our Patreon today at transmissionspodcast.com slash support. Welcome to the Transmissions Trips to the Store, where we show off all the cool Transformer stuff we got this week. This video is part of our regular Transmissions Podcast. You can check that out at our website, transmissionspodcast.com. We do two shows every week. Every Wednesday is Transmissions, the show all about Transformers toys and merchandise, and Trips to the Store is a big part of that. Then every Friday is Transmissions Alt Mode, which is all about Transformers comics and media. And this week we are reviewing Last Bot Standing number two. Uh, we also have our bi-weekly transmission or Transformers RPG podcast, live play RPG podcast, Empire of Rust. That's done by our awesome producer and editor, Mike. Then uh, every once in a while, we do a Transmissions Extra. So we got extra stuff. And uh, J- Daryl's been doing some lots of cool extra podcasts. So you should check out uh, stuff we've got coming in the feed very soon. We've got a special one coming up with Mikey from Mood Base 2 this week. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, Why We Collect with Izzy Francisi. And uh, TFCon is this week. So Daryl sat down with Colin Douglas, uh, organizer of TFCon. uh, And he's talking about TFCon Toronto. So we're all going to be there. Uh, You know, come say hi to us if you're at TFCon Toronto. Uh, I'll probably still be wearing a mask. (laughs) But, uh, you know, I I think Matt. Yeah. But uh, yeah, come have fun. Conventions are back, baby. Of course, uh, Transmissions is powered by you. So thank you to all of our Donatrons out there. Uh, We really appreciate the support. If you'd like to become a Donatron, either on Patreon or PayPal, just go to transmissionspodcast.com slash support. That's where you can sign up. If you you can also help us out by buying some merchandise from our T Public store, and that's at transmissionspodcast.com slash shop. Uh, and you don't have to buy just transmissions merchandise. Anything you buy from T Public will help out the show. So as long as you use our link to buy it, transmissionspodcast.com slash shop, then anything you buy from T Public will help out the show. Of course, if you buy our stuff, that helps a little bit more, but you know, uh, every little bit helps. So thank you. All right, uh, let's get into the stuff we got this week. I'm going to go first because I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, I just have the comic we're going to review this week. Last Spot Standing number two. This came out a couple weeks ago. This is cover A. This is by Nick Roche. Uh, features Moon, the uh, Transformer character uh who's a little bit prominent in this issue. He's a, he's a, I believe a beast Wars Neo second character, uh, transplanted into this universe. So, uh, it's an interesting story. We'll, we'll talk about it in, uh, in alt mode this week. So look forward to that. All right. Uh, Jeremy, you're going to go next. What do you got? All right. Well, first of all, I'm wearing my TFCon shirt from 2012 and, kind of confused because they're all saying it's the 20th anniversary of tfcon but in july of 2012 this thing says 11th anniversary or 11th annual (laughs) so i'm not i'm not sure where the maybe it's the canadian map i don't know they they, the pandemic took a year (laughs) off that the the pandemic year doesn't count. okay oh okay there we (laughs) go that's it okay so um what i have this week uh first of all i have finished off my lego optimus prime completely I'm going to show off all the accessories and some of the final stuff here. First is the Energon Cube. It's okay. I, I personally would have preferred... Uh, I'm not too big on the tran- on the solid color thing here, but at least have one more row of these blocks to make it more of a, a cube and not a squish cube. I mean, I don't know. That's just personal preference, but, you know, nice to have it. And then on Optimus himself, as you can see, I have the ion cannon in one hand. And this is nice because it actually clicks into a couple uh, pegs that are here on the back. So it's nice and stable. And then I have replaced his other hand with the Energon Axe. 
So that, that's nice. really cool. And then turn him around. He's got Sideswipe Jetpack. This was a fun one to build. The, the thrusters are on ball joints so they can move around. And then, of course, if you open up the chest here, which I do backwards, he's got the Matrix of Leadership. So That's so cool. Have you transformed it yet? I, I have not. I have, like, partially transformed them. But I wanted to get all this stuff done and shown off before I risk breaking it. <laughs> uh, and the la last thing with the Lego is um, it came with, this is a, a sticker on a big piece, but you get all of his stats. And I think what I'm going to do when I display him is I'll have my little Creo Optimus Prime, the little bitty one next to this while I have it next to that. So Creo will live on in, in some small portion. Mm -hmm. Um, Next thing I have, um, oh, sorry, one last thing for the Lego. I wanted to kind of show off the instruction book real quick. A pretty high quality, nice thick instruction book. And, you know, the instructions, you know, they're better than Ikea <laughs> on the level, but there's some, some nice art in here. I, I don't know mm -hmm. who the artist is, but they did some nice art. Um, this is available as a PDF on the Lego site. You don't have to buy it. So you can just, um, people have gone, downloaded the PDF, gotten their own bricks and made their own versions. Uh, here's oh. another. I think this might be Guido, but I'm not sure. And it looks like it. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. And then listening to uh, Daryl's talk with Colin, I had forgotten Vince DiColo was going to be at TFCon this year. So I showed off my LP of the 86 soundtrack a couple weeks ago. So I'm not going to show that off again. But I did dig up my Transformers the movie score that came out um, what year? in 2013. And this is just the Vince DiColo stuff from the movie. So I'm going to be bringing this to get him to sign it. It's cool pretty cool um the album art's got some stuff from the movie in it so that i, I was excited that I, I didn't know where that was and i was able to find it and then finally i had a birthday this last week and uh my sister sent me this present it's a jigsaw puzzle and when i, I opened it it said radical robots and i'm like okay not really even thinking transformers i was just thinking you know various kind of robots in the jigsaw puzzle but look at that g1 box Ooh. art that, that is amazing I, I really like it it's a thousand piece puzzle oh uh, that's so nice 27 and a half inches by 19.75 uh, inches or 70 centimeters by 50 <sighs> centimeters Daryl. i but appreciate that thank you <laughs> it, it, it's, it's on the back <laughs> but this is really cool it's just like g1 box transformers just all over it and optimus prime is front and center and i just i'm not a huge jigsaw puzzle guy but this will be fun to do and that's gorgeous yeah so mm -hmm. this is great well done so that is all i got this week All right, we're going to finish up with Daryl. All right. Well, uh, once again, Charles seems to be, a, 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 I don't know, a couple weeks behind with comics, or at least a week behind. But uh, my comic this week is Fate of Cybertron. Uh, this is the one shot that came out this week. And I was able to snag the Alex Milne cover. Uh, this is the uh, the RI. And, uh, and and this is just a gorgeous cover. Um, I uh, I... I, I begged and pleaded with my shop to get me let me get this cover and uh yeah so um you know i make no secret of my uh, alex fandom and uh you're an so, alex stan yeah <laughs> so so i uh, i was really uh, happy when i was able to get this this cover and um yeah so it's just an incredible cover from him and the artwork that he does inside the book is 
outstanding. Um, it really is. So if you haven't read this thing yet, uh, I, I su highly suggest picking it up. And, uh, and, and I mean, it, it closes out the IDW Transformers saga, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, still there's, there are some books coming. Uh, we're still finishing off Last Spot Standing, uh, and uh, there is a Shattered Glass miniseries coming. But uh, this is the the last bit of the uh, the ongoing and so 2019. And, uh, yeah, so all of that stuff. That, so yeah, our, our pal Winston Chan got some interior pages in there. Yep, and then Andrew Griffith mm -hmm. is in there as yeah. well, and uh, and yeah, so there's a, there's a bunch of really good artists in here. So yeah, very good. Check it out if you haven't yet. Um, my toys for this uh, this week. Um, this is one I actually got at TFCon, uh, last year in December. And, uh, and I didn't really think about putting it together because it came in a bag and it looked all broken. And I thought, you know what? I finally came across it again. I thought, I'll just take a look and see if I can put it together. And well, I'll be damned if I didn't get, you know, 95% of it. This is the Minicon combiner Superion. And he is... Uh, he's made up with some gold plastic, so I can see the hesitancy of putting them together. Um, but he is every he's here except for his uh, left fist. I'm missing his left fist, and I almost ended his life there just now. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so two hands, Daryl. Two hands. <laughs> yes. So uh, so his his gun is is held in there fairly lightly because if you put the peg in too too much it'll it'll get stuck and then you'll break it off but um but yeah he's uh, he's he's combined and he's missing his left fist so i've got to find that but uh yeah uh mini con combine or uh, micro master com yeah micro master combiner superion and uh yeah he'll just he'll go next to the rest of my micro master combiners now so yeah he's uh he's pretty cool fun kind of funny after we were talking about that new age hephaestus and Essentially, this guy is the same thing. Oh, you you wait. <laughs> so my other, it's just kind of happenstance that I also have another Superion here. This, <laughs> this is from Zeta Toys. <laughs> uh, I got the rest of the bots from the Zeta Toys uh, combiner. And uh, this is their Superion, my, their Superion Mini. And, uh, and this is... Um, so I got in their, their Silverbolt, Firefly, and Slingshot. I had the two legs from December in at the TFCon show where I bought um, both of these, both of the leg bots there, and then I bought the two leg bots for the Magic Square Devastator. Now, I mentioned it on the show at the time that uh, I did not know that uh, this Superion was a kind of a... a what is the what do you call these things like the the torso bots i guess i don't know the i don't know the term for them i guess the, but the you know the the faux bodied figures um so i didn't <laughs> i didn't know at the time that he was this was him so if you turn him around you can see that the, the back <laughs> is completely open you know he's he's completely missing uh, and people that, complain that, that about hasbro and having you know empty spaces yeah, well, see, the, the silver, silver bolt goes in there, right? <laughs> the silver bolt figure is just is not there, right? So what you you do is you just lift this head. There is a a transformation for silver bolt to turn him into a cube, <laughs> right? That's it, right there, and you slide him in, just like that. You peg down the head, and now he's in there. That's it. I've done it. Does it look any different? No. No, it doesn't. If you turn them around, obviously it does. But yeah, so this, at the time that I bought these, I was unaware. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to keep them because this will be a good chance to experience the, uh, you know, these these faux bodied combiners uh, because I, I really hadn't had any experience with them. Um, they They look fantastic. Really, they do. Um, and my hypocrisy is just, it's, it's flying free right now. It's, it's, <laughs> um, I mean, but, but to, to you, be fair, you, you didn't realize when you bought the first two. I did not. And, and I mean, but, I'm not just saying that, but I honestly, I did not think that these, these, cause I knew that 
there were the new age was doing that kind of stuff. I didn't think Zeta was. So, um, and when I found out, I was like, well, I've already, I'm already too invested. I I'm invested two figures in this already. So I might as well just finish it off. Um, but I, I do like the way that this guy kind of handles as a, you know, as a, a, a combiner, he, he, you know, he's very well articulated, you know, when most of the combiner is already built for you and you don't really have to make up anything out of the, uh, you know, out of an actual character, then yeah, you can do an awful lot. So yeah. Much more the, stable, uh, I'm sure. Very stable. Yeah. So this one here is different than the, the Devastator where the Devastator's arms are actually still part of that, you know, faux piece. Uh, the, the, the arms here are the individual uh, planes. So each, each leg and each arm are, are made up of individual pieces. So it's a, uh, it's, it's a good figure. I like it. Um, I'll probably, if I can figure it out and, and know in, uh, beforehand, I'll probably still avoid this kind of stuff in the future. And, uh, and I do have the rest of the, um, the rest of the magic square guys on their way. So hopefully when they come to my, uh, my, my, my house here, I can figure out how to put those together. Cause I've, I've heard they're quite difficult to assemble. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, a couple of Superions for me here uh, just to, to kind of, finish up uh, before we head to TFCon. All right. And that will do it for this week's trips to the store. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, again, if you'd like to support transmissions, just go to transmissionspodcast.com slash support. That's where you can sign up either on Patreon or PayPal. That helps out the show. Uh, if you'd like to leave us feedback, you can go to transmissionspodcast.com slash feedback. That's where you can sign up, leave us uh, voicemails, emails, contact us on social media. You can even leave a comment right down below in this YouTube video if you like. And uh, let us know what you think. We love getting feedback and we do respond to it on the show sometimes. You know what else we would love? If <laughs> what? They gave us, if they have us feedback in person at TFCon. Yes. <laughs> That would Only be awesome. They like the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to be doing a live transmissions podcast show at the very end of TFCon on Sunday. So stick around, hang out with us. Uh, we'll be, you know, we might even have some prizes to give away. So, you know, hang out, come see us, say hi. All right, uh, that'll do it for this week's Trips to the Store. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>